Hey guys, so in this tutorial I will show you how to execute the cartwheel on the pole. Now I haven't invented this move, but I'm sure you have seen it a lot and some of you have actually asked me to create a tutorial for this one. So here goes. Now the first thing I'm going to explain you what engagement do you actually need here. Uh, from your body so you need actually a side engagement so you need your obliques to actually connect in this move as well as your leg so therefore i suggest you to do the side plank before you start to do this cartwheel fingers wide open place your palm underneath your shoulder and lift up in a nice side plank position now if it's too difficult you can put one leg into the front or just put on the knee to, uh, to make the weight a little bit less on your shoulder. But it's important that you push off from the floor. Do not let yourself fall into the shoulder. Make sure you have a nice, strong position here in your side plank. And how can you actually try to move towards this one? You can just lift your hips, lower down, exhale, push. And when you push, you work more from that shoulder to feel how your shoulder is connecting, your lats are working and your obliques are working. Do as many repetitions as you can control through exhale, going up, through exhale, going up, and of course, switching to the other side. The same thing applies, place your hand underneath your shoulder. Nice straight line, lift up, Make sure you're holding strong in your shoulder, you're pushing yourself off from the floor so you're not falling in. You can lift up this hand from the floor, uh, up in the sky, put the hand behind your head or into your side, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Lowering down, exhale coming up, lowering down, exhale up, lowering down, exhale up, lowering down, exhale up, last one and up. The side plank position teaches us to connect your shoulder with your obliques. It's exactly the same thing we actually need in the cartwheel position. So we're moving towards to the exercises onto the paw. Now before we move forward to the technique of the movement, okay, we're going to try to understand the engagement, the placement, what we, what we actually need to do to make it happen. So we're going to place the hand, uh, the inside hand underneath your shoulder. So it's not in front of the paw. It's right beside Paul. So once you're moving into your cartwheel position, into your starting position, sorry, once you move back, you should feel the pole is touching your neck, more or less, but move away. Now, before you start to do anything, make sure you're actually pushing off from the shoulders that you're not falling into it. Lift your hips up and reach the pole very high, okay? So your hips are up, reach the pole high. Now the weight is on the outside leg, the leg you're going to jump off from. And the inside leg is going to be a swinging leg. Before we start to jump, we're gonna to try to maintain the engagement. The upper hand is pushing, uh, pulling, sorry, and the lower one is pushing away. And all you need to do here is now pull the inside leg out and open up here and move back. You don't have to be able to do a split to accomplish this one, okay? As far as you can go, as high as you can uh, lift up, okay? Hips first, push and pull, shoulder engagement, and pull to the side. This is gonna be how you're going to move your leg. And actually, it's the hardest part to understand once you're starting to learn the cartwheel. Because usually, my students tend to jump somewhere here. So you have to jump actually over to the other side of the pole. So if you're not doing the actual swing, it's gonna be quite difficult to do that. So push and pull. And now you're gonna do the same thing with your leg, but just create a little bit of jump and coming back. A little bit of a jump and coming back. Push to the side, your leg, trying to move there to pull your center of gravity, your butt, right above your shoulder, right above your head. So you have to let your torso move down. The common mistake, difficulties in this one is that you're swinging the leg, but you're not letting 
your torso actually moves down, so therefore it's hard to lift up the hip. So once you're jumping, you have to move along with the swinging leg. So the leg goes up, you are moving down, so the butt can lift up higher, and you could feel the right a little bit of the pause right up in the air. If you feel that pause in the air, you're almost there. So push, reach high, look at your hand first, the lower one, okay, start pushing and pulling, and jump, moving back to the side, jump, moving back to the side. Now a little tip here is the jumping leg, you're trying to pull your heel close to your butt. So you kind of have to imagine like you want to hit your heel to your butt, therefore the jump is going to be quick and explosive and you want that, you want the jump to be quick explosive to get you high enough so the leg can actually continue the movement to the side okay so let's try one more time now think about heel to the butt heel to the butt push and pull moving down let yourself move down swing back and if you have this pause you can start to move on the other side of the pole so one more time Push and pull, boom, move to the other side of the pole. And that is the first thing with where we start to learn our cartwheel. Of course, needless to say, you have to do this on your both sides, otherwise one hand will just get used to pushing and the other one will just get used to pulling. So you need your both hands to be able to push and pull whenever you need them to. So we're going to do this one more time. When you should get the higher position, try to just move on to the other side of the pole to teach yourself where you actually need to go. The swing comes from behind. If you see or feel that you're not doing this quite, uh, quite well, so you need to do this exercise, the first one, a little bit longer. So you go back to the side, back, back to the side, back, jump to the side, and move on to this other side of the pole and once you got this you can move forward to the next step next step is actually trying to open up your legs once you're up in the air to get uh, to create a little bit more time and to make a better dynamic for this cartwheel okay so now i'm going to try to do the same kick and just open up the other leg and you can go back if you feel your butt is pulling your back, but if no, you can move to the other side of the pole and you're almost there. Kick to the side. Remember the placement. I have seen some put the hand right in front of the pole. Some put it a little bit forward. I like to put it here, but if you feel it's more comfortable for you to be closer to the pole, you can do that. But make sure the head is not blocking your movement so you have to feel that you have a distance between your neck and the pole you're not placing your anything else onto the pole just your hands just the push and pull so you have to make sure that you have this little distance between neck and the pole even if you think that it's gonna help in the end when you try to move on the other side of the pole the head can actually mess up this if you're trying to push against the pole. So, to the side, kick up, extend. To the side, kick up, extend, and move to the other side. And basically, you're already there. Just a couple of exercises. The side plank helps you engage the side, it helps you engage the shoulders, okay, the pushing. But the pulling, once you're onto the pole, you need to remind yourself to pull well enough to pull, actually, so the lower hand is not doing the hard work. So the both hands has to work equally. So push the hand, push up, kick to the butt, open up if you can. And the last step is just trying to follow that swinging leg. So now you do not have to pause up in the air, just follow that swinging leg, 
follow, follow, follow. And here is your cartwheel. Common mistake here, probably you have tried this before, maybe you have seen this, is this, that we cannot jump up. For some reason we're thinking about jumping from the pole. Imagine that this is all the space you have here, okay? Here is your line, you cannot move away from your line. The same happens in cartwheel, in the regular kind. You are moving to the side and you're moving in the same line. So the same happens here onto the pole. Okay, the pole is actually extra support. I learned this and then I only learned the regular kind of cartwheel. So you push your hips up. If you feel your jump is not enough, maybe your hips need to push higher up to the side. Open up in a straddle position. You need that straddle. You want to go through your lane. So you do not want to move to the side. Let your torso move down. If you can, open your legs as wide as you can. Pause a little bit up in the air to make sure you're controlling the end of the movement, okay? So now I'm going to try to show you once more. At first I'm looking up, then I'm looking forward. Look up, forward. Now I'm following this leg and the other one moves down because both legs are trying to do full range of motion. So you're not trying to cut off the movement. One leg, other leg. One leg, other leg. And once you're trying to achieve this without the pause, it actually feels a lot easier. Look up because it feels like you have to lift up hips, uh, lift hips higher, which helps a lot. You push up, push, and follow that leg. And if you wanna change it up from the starting position, I like to start from this kind of position because it gives me a, lot of bit, uh, a little bit more, a little bit more force. When you start on your knee, the outside leg is right in front, and from here I'm starting to push and turn from this position. So from here, I'm moving forward already with my hips pushing up and looking to the sky. Placing the hand, okay, and from here, starting to swing and following, 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 and boom, that's it. Try to do this without pausing because it is actually easier. Push up and finish okay now make sure that you put your hand in the right uh, in the right place where it feels comfortable for you underneath your shoulder so usually when we start from here we tend to put the hand right into the pole make sure if if that is the position where it feels comfortable for you for me it doesn't so therefore I put the hand right a little bit in front of the pole because I am in front of the pole. I'm not above the pole, I am in front of the pole. So I want to put my hand right where my shoulder is, right where my butt will go, above, above my shoulder. Therefore, if I put the hand here, sometimes it feels difficult, it feels like the butt is falling forward. And therefore, sometimes that's why this is happening because the hand is not placed where it's actually would, would be more comfortable where it would be more comfortable so let's try one more time push in front of the pole push from your hand and kick up to the side open up finish boom here's your cartwheel the important thing actually to accomplish these kind of moves is consistency. Not always a move will come from the first repetition or the first workout or the first even month. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. What is crucial for you to understand where is the problem? Where is the issue? Why is not why it is not happening for you? Okay? Is it the side? Am I not jumping high enough? Is it the placement of the hand? 
Is it the technique of the movement that's failing, for example, okay? Just make sure you're pushing off from the shoulder that it's onto the floor. The other one is actually pulling. The swing comes from to the side. The side is helping, the hip is working. So the leg is swinging and the leg is pulling uh, the butt where it has to go. Therefore, you need the jump and swing for the butt to go to the other side of the uh, pole, okay? And let your upper body work along with your lower body. So if the leg is coming up, your head has to move down. Therefore, in the beginning, as I said, whichever variation you prefer to go right into the position or start from here, you look up, push your hips up, look to the front, turn your torso to the front so your, your, your uh, boobs to the front so you can actually understand where the leg has to go, open up, and that's it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope that it helped you in some way. Uh, you can uh, write comments, you can write suggestions as well. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And of course, train your both sides. Train safe, stay healthy. Thank you for visiting my channel today and see you guys next time.